peeps welcome back to my channel it is your girl Haley j here for those of you who are new do not forget to like comment and subscribe so we're just about to get straight into it i'm doing another makeup tutorial what's new i'm gonna tone her skin with this toner on a cotton pad wipe this all over her face just to get rid of any excess oil um that may be on her skin you know you gotta make sure the skin is nice and clean um yeah what's up with y'all like I, i'm trying to make longer videos and really just be on here and talk so like what's up what's good how you feeling what's what's going on um um leave me a comment down below to let me know that you're really here because y'all don't really be in the comment section like that and it's time to change that but anyways and now it's time to use this elf holy hydration you know just to give her skin a little bit more of a, a some pizzazz you know a little bit hydration before we go in with the primer because i'm not a big like moisturizer girl because too many products can just be overpowering to me on the skin and i want to just keep it as minimal as possible hashtag minimal List. and yeah just make sure all of the products that you are laying ring, layering are drying down before you apply each product oh i did put primer on i don't know what happened but i did put the elf hydro grip uh primer on her yes i mix all three of these shades on um, to be honest oh this is me putting primer on right now um i mix all three of them shades what i really could use is new caledonia but every time i go to the dang on ulta new caledonia is never there so i have to do a lot of mixing so this is me applying this uh milk now why am i saying milk elf power grip not milk hydro grip even though it's a dupe for the milk hydro grip but this is me just drying down the product um before i put on the foundation which didn't help because the primer still kind of balled up on me but that's not the point so this is me kind of like testing out the shade as y'all see it is just like a little bit lighter like just a tad bit so i'm just being real specific as to where i placed this so i'm lining the top of her eyebrow right now this is how i really scope the brows without having to like conceal the top and the bottom this is me concealing the top with the foundation um yeah and i'm just placing this like down here by her jawline and like up under her eyes and i'm just leaving like the contour area blank because i don't want her whole face to be this light so i am going to go ahead and put you know this shade right here is a little bit warmer so this is just the namibia the light reflecting namibia that i'm putting on to just warm it up a little bit and i'm gonna spray her with this fix i don't i don't think it's fix. oh yeah it is the fix plus dry that down and then we're gonna get to blending and this is one of my morphe brushes um yeah and we just gonna push push pull up am i alive we're going to push this all the way into the skin you know just tap it into the skin i don't like to drag i just like to press all the way into the skin because i basically painted her whole face at this point so it just needs to be blended and and meshed so yeah y'all can watch this and i'll be back for the next steps Hope y'all enjoying the tutorial, child. Uh, if you are, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you ain't subscribed, share this video. Put a comment down below. What was your favorite part of the video? What's your favorite product? Something. Talk to me. Talk to me so I know that you're there. Thank you. Okay, bye. So now it's time for concealer. I believe this is suede. The LA, yep, that's what it is. LA girl concealer in suede. She is perfect for my deep dark skin chocolate goods. Okay, and you know, I mean, maybe you do or maybe you don't, but this is the highlighting areas up under the nose. Not up under the nose. Up under the eyes, the chin, the top of the lip, the forehead, the bridge of the nose all of the flat parts of the face the faces the faces the parts of the face that you see like dead on the parts of the face that the light is going to hit that's why we want to highlight them and you know brighten them up because you know that's what we want to pop and then this is also going to help with contour but i'm not 
cream contour her because there's no need for that because it's a natural glam and also y'all this is natural it's just what i do these days i'm not going overboard with this mess no more i'm not doing the extras this is as good as it's getting unless i'm just feeling the spirit okay taking that same brush this is the foundation brush this is how you really get everything to mesh by using the same brush because that leftover foundation is still on that brush and it's just gonna help everything look like one unit take notes take notes and this is also how you save brushes and you don't have to use so many you can conserve because i child washing brushes is my least favorite part of being an mua um and yeah and this is me applying a little bit of whatever is remaining of that concealer um underneath her contour line which makes it look like i cream contoured when i did it so yeah and this is me just taking the powder puff i have been using these powder puffs to blend up under the under eye because it is super uber duper looper convenient because beauty blenders it's just like no it's like no i just feel like they not they just after a while they're not sanitary so why not just use these where you could just throw them away when you're done and they cheap amazon period um i'll link that down below and yeah, i got a little storefront situation if y'all want to check that out y'all can check that out um yeah so this is me just blending in the rest of the products where i couldn't really get to it with that brush and just making sure everything is meshed To set her under eye, I went in, it's called, yeah, medium deep. Um, and just pressing that underneath her under eye, you know what I'm saying? Not doing too much. Just making sure it is nice and matte, baby. We don't want any of the face to be wet still, especially the under eye, because that is how creasing happens. And we don't want that. And just, I'm applying that everywhere that I put the concealer. Like, literally, everywhere I put the concealer and making sure that it is mattified before I move on to another area. This is the part of the face that takes, not really takes the most time, but this takes the most, this is the most tedious, I feel. Like, you really got to get in there with that powder. Like, this is not a joke because this will make or break the face. Like, we put in all that work with blending. Now it's time to lock it down and set it and make sure she stays in place. So, yeah. This is this is one of the real important steps, babe. So now this is me taking a big fluffy brush and just tapping some of that powder on the bottom half of her face so it is nice and mattified as well. I just want a thin layer. I don't want a thick layer because I don't really want to brighten up what I already got going on down there. So we just doing like a light layer just to make sure it is mattified. And now I'm taking some of this NW55 uh, MAC powder and just using this as her face powder, pressing this all over her skin and just really making the face one good old unit and bringing just a little bit more warmth to the face as well. Now for blush, y'all, um, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. What did I use? Oh, this is probably the Warrior palette from Juvia's Place. I'm probably using like that red shade in there and that orange shade. 
um and yeah i haven't put any like contour or anything on yet but i make sure this is how i'm conserving brushes as well y'all i'm gonna do blush first make sure that's on and then i'm gonna go in and do her contour and i just use that same palette there's a deep brown in that palette and that's what i'm using to snatch her nose and that's what i use to kind of get on the hollows of her cheeks and warm her face up once again this is a natural glam we don't gotta do all of the extras and the heavy making sure she's scoped in the do, 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 woo, okay we just got to make sure she's slightly snatched and and she's blushing and she she got her coverage period yeah and i'm actually using that same like contour shade on her lips powder can be used as lip liner babe products are universal anything can be used for anything literally i am i'm a big fan of that i'm actually lying this is not that this is the morphe palette that i'm using um the morphe face palette in that's rich i think that's the, either that's rich or it's the deepest palette they got that's what i used and this is the the liquid lipstick i use it's a mix of the concealer i use for her plus I don't want to lie. I'm, I probably used some of that, um, dang, what did I use? Probably the Ruby Kisses in Dune. I probably mixed some of the concealer with like a really light pink shade to give it this color because I didn't want her lip to be too light. And so, yeah, just had her blow her lips together. That's blended. Now I'm moving on to brows um, and just really filling in her brows. Not much that I need to do. Um, yeah. And I'm just concealing her brows with um, whatever is left of that foundation and a little bit of the suede concealer. I don't want it to be too bright. I just want enough to like kind of clean up underneath her brow. So yeah, we're doing that and we're using this to prime her lid as well. For gloss, I'm using the Ulta Jelly Gloss and Starfish, one of my favorite freaking glosses. Like, it's a peachy gloss, and it just goes so well on all skin tones, and she's really just that girl. You need it in your kit, period. Now I'm just blending in the eyes, um, blending in that concealer, and I'm also going to set it with a little bit of powder as well. You already know the drill. When you put on a cream, you need to put on a powder to set it. That's just that's just the rule, the rule of thumb. That's just law, okay? Period. This eyeshadow, baby, nothing spectacular. I don't really put no effort into eyeshadow no more because why? And also, she got lash extensions. La, la, la. Lash extensions. So what's the point? Like, girl, slap on that brown in there, get in that crease real good with that brown and call it a day. And I think I did put a little bit of like that gray shadow like in the center, just a little bit to add just a little bit of something. But y'all, eyeshadow is not that deep no more these days. It's, it's really about the face, the brows, and the lips. Like, shadow, shadow is, is not that girl anymore. And yeah, I'm spraying her down with this Fix Plus, making sure she is nice and set. And then after her, I'm going in with the NYX 
16 hour matte finish situation to make sure she's nice and locked in but baby this is a face and you can't tell me that this is a face this is a face i really do this makeup shit if you didn't know like take notes there's 30,000 tutorials on my channel like please take notes please and um yeah and i'm doing her eyeliner i like to use the inglot gel liner it's like so good she's the best like she's the best of the best nothing tops her and yeah this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial my girl is ready this was for her graduation picture she was graduating high school yes high school she's a she's a bad bitch in high school period um, well, she ain't in high school no more. She went to college. But, yeah, she's that girl. This is my girl, Paige. Um, I'll probably put her Instagram on here, too. But, yeah, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. If you